All right, Blade Show West follow up. All right, yes, indeed. We told you we were going to do it. We we threatened to appear live in Salt Lake City, and we made good on our threat. And uh, we did on Friday morning. We uh, hot footed it downtown to the Salt Palace, and we went to Blade Show West. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was. It was a good time. Uh, I don't know how many tables there were. Hunt a couple of hundred had to been like several. Hundred. Yeah, there was quite a bit. It was there were more than I thought were going to be there. Yeah, there were several hundred, several hundred tables from uh, everywhere from like custom knife one man shops, like a one man shop custom knife makers, all the way up to the big the big guys like CRKT and spider co and who's oh tops knives had a really big booth and uh we knives had a big booth we we and then it wasn't just i mean knives of course it was knives and knife accessories like hardwood uh fancy wood scales and knife sharpening equipment and so on and so forth spider co had a large booth which you would expect spider co's in colorado so it's just a for them it was just a hop skip and a jump over from golden colorado uh golden is known for beer and knives and hippies and hippies yeah there's uh beer knives and hippies that's what you get in golden colorado uh, but uh, we saw our, our 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 good friend Joyce, uh, who I who I've known for at least twenty years. Probably it's no, it's at least twenty five years. Twenty seven longer than that. I've known her since the nineties. Yeah, and it's not the it's not the nineties anymore. It's not. <laughs> so I I've known I've known Joyce from Spider Co for probably twenty five years or so, and uh, somebody else that I've I've known. For probably not so long, but I've been carrying his products and using his products for way longer than 25 years, uh, was Lynn C. Thompson, formerly of Cold Steel. And you're like, whoa, what do you mean formerly of? Well, if you, if you follow the uh, the knife world or the outdoor shooting sports world or, you know, uh, well, just the world in general of knives and, and tools and, and stuff. Uh, Lynn Thompson founded Cold Steel Knives uh, in the 80s and the early in the early 1980s. He founded Cold Steel Knives. It might have been in the 70s. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to look that up. But at least 40 years ago. OK. Uh, and he sold recently. He sold uh, he sold the Cold Steel company to GSM. Oh, 1980. I was right. Wow. So he founded it in 1980. He founded Cold Steel Knives. Oh, Zach has called a flag on the field. Uh-oh. <laughs> called false start. I did? Yep. For what? I see it. It says false oh. start up there. Hardy, 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 hard. That's a, that's a five, is it a five-yard penalty? Yeah, five or 10-yard, 15-yard. Uh, I don't think it's 15, 10. I don't 20, think it's a 10-yard penalty. 20-yard penalty. penalty. Yeah, yeah, maybe, but, you know. Anyway, so long story short, um, I've known Lynn Thompson. I've I met him at a, one of the many trade shows many 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 years ago, um, and I saw him. He was he was patrolling around. Uh, he had his he had his posse, his one man posse with him, and he was patrolling around the the floor of Blade Show West. So we we took the time to have a little chat and snap some photos, and uh, that was it was nice. If you don't know anything about Lynn Thompson, Lynn Thompson is what I refer to. I don't know if anyone else in the business uses this terminology, but I do. He is the P.T. Barnum of the knife world. And if you don't know what that means, if you don't get the reference, then What's you... What's T.P. Barnum? P.T. Barnum. He is the P.T. Barnum of the knife world. So, and uh, any hooser. Isn't that the guy that jumped out of a plane and disappeared? But then it turned out that he was really nice and no, no, he gave the the hostess a or whatever you call them a kiss on the way out as he jumped and then flew into the sunset really gently. Yeah, yeah, that's it exactly. You know, half of our audience doesn't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, right? really? Yeah. 
So that was my impressions. Now I'll be quiet and, and you boys can give your impressions because Jared and Zachary both went. I'll go first. My impressions are that it was bigger than I thought it'd be. Because looking at the, the show Jesus. map, that's right. Looking at the show map, I was like, oh, this is going to be crunched into one area, which it, it was, but it was way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little room. Like, you know, when you go to SHOT Show, and I just lost most of the Oh, audience, the, the but, side room. The yeah, side like, rooms. You go to the LE room. Yeah. It's kind of what I thought it was going to be like. It was going to be like, like that really small one, but it wasn't. It was bigger than that. And there was, I'll tell you what, everybody there was very polite, at least everybody that I had experience with. Everybody was polite in the rows. Everybody was polite at the booths. There was no hard salespeople. Uh, there was some cool, there was a pocket dump challenge that we did, which was pretty cool. Um, I liked it from, because I, I like marketing stuff and I liked it from a marketing perspective. What was the name of that company? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, wow. I, I, if you look up pocket dump challenge, I bet it'll be. Well, that might be a thousand things. Yeah. Oh, give it me, is. I took videos yeah. and pictures. So give me about 10 seconds and I'll pull it up. Yeah. For yeah. But so they, they had these people in white lab coats they would write you a prescription. So they had this, they were, this they were thing. analyzing, yeah, your, they were pocket analyzing dump. your pocket dump. They yeah. had this checklist of stuff and they're like, they would say it and then you'd pull it out of your pocket or not if you didn't have it. And then at the end, they'd give you the card and they'd mark the things that you didn't have, but you, you didn't should have. have. And, uh, and then, so after we did our pocket dump, dad and I, dad challenged me to a pocket dump. And after we did ours, I asked the dude to the, the doctor in the white lab coat. I was like, well, can you do a pocket dump? Because I know you have a ton well, of you, pockets. Well, on. of course he was ready for it. Oh, for I mean, sure. he's not going to not be ready for, for it. For sure. They, they're, they, obviously, they have everything on their checklist and then some. And then some. But yeah. uh, So I asked him to do it afterwards, and he had uh, some pretty cool stuff on him. Uh, we all, all three of us actually ended up having the same flashlight, which was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. 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 I was like, hey, Great hey, minds think that. We all had, yeah. the, we were all carrying the Surefire Stiletto. Yeah. Uh, it was a pretty cool experience. It's just something that's fun, but you get to learn something from too. And, uh, but yeah, so I was expecting like the doctors to have their lab coats stuffed full of stuff, you know, uh, that was sold by the company. That wasn't the case though. He's like, dude, I'm not even using the lab coat. I'm just going to pull the stuff out of my, my this pockets. is my everyday carry. I'm not going to yeah. use, I'm not going to cheat and use this lab coat. And then I asked him what the coolest or uh, most the, different, I guess, elaborate or whatever. elaborate, different pocket dump he ever experienced was. And he said that, there's a dude that came in that had a jacket on that was, uh, I guess this is probably like a wilderness survival expert of some sort. He had a jacket that had everything that the dude needed to walk into the woods and survive for a few days. You know what? Jared and I both have everything. When I get out of the shower, I have everything I need to survive in the woods. That's right. Because I, I'm, I'm trained now. I am now trained. trained. And the name of the company, by the way, is EDC Specialists. Aha! Ah, there you you know, that's a little EDC box club. Is Are they the, like, specialists? The uh, I mean, you took the Are test, they, so you tell are me. Are they special? I think and Jared's special. going to follow up with them about the kits. Yes. The C specialists, yeah. specialists. So in addition to that, so everybody was polite. I got to see some of my friends there. Nate the Blade Maker was there. We went oh, yeah, Nate them. was there, of course. Uh, we got there at, like, we're amateurs, apparently. Because we got there at like eleven o'clock. We, we didn't have the uh, at ten. Um, what you call it? The early um, birds. The early bird special. We didn't yeah. have the early bird special. I didn't realize that people lined up. I heard one dude talking about how he got there at midnight the night before, so that he can get in there. And I guess there's probably show specific knives that you can only get there. So the knife collectors that are serious about it, they'll show up and get in line and and uh, make sure that they can get that knife that they want before they're out of stock. Oh yeah, here wow. it is. Here's yeah, their website. It's crazy. Right here. EDC specialties, everyday carry essentials and EDC kits. There you go. There you go. There you go. So they got a lots of gizmos and gadgets and, and stuff on there. Um we we didn't get a lot we didn't get a lot of time to talk, but uh you know, obviously we promote the fundamental four. And you know, he, he's like, oh, do you have a pen? Do you have some kind of a pocket tool? Do you have a bottle opener? Do you have a, you know, stuff like that, uh, which is nice, but that's not fundamental. Mm -hmm. Fundamental is lethal, sharp, right? Medical. Fundamental four is your, is your MED, your minimum effective dose. Of that's stuff. right. You can carry that's more the, than that. The minimum. I, minimum. I didn't say it's the max. It's the minimum. 
Yeah. A pen is sharp. I mean, well, it could be a, you know, well, not really. I'm not going to. Or is it pokey? A pe- pokey. I, I was going to say stabby. It's stabby. A it's pen pokey is stabby. Thing. Yeah. So, Zach, what was your, what was your uh, takeaway from Blade West? My takeaway from Blade Show West was it was really cool and very expensive. The, every, to get in? No, just like everything there. Because I, I went in. It was with inexpensive the, to get in. Yeah, it was inexpensive no, I, to get in. But can, can I can I make a correction real quick? Go for it. The really cool custom stuff was definitely expensive, but there are some places I don't know if you've no, if you're aware of the MSRP on a lot of the items that were there from like CRKT and Spiderco and and mm-hmm. companies like that. I don't know about the local guys, but the show deals were fantastic on some of these. Oh yeah, things. yeah. The yeah. the show deals. Like I, I I looked. I went to some of the knife uh, manufacturers' yeah. websites afterwards, and. It was obvi- it was a way better deal yeah. if you bought it at the show. So I just wanted to clarify that. I'll kick it back over to Zach because I'm sure he's talking about the the custom like the cool stuff, right? Yeah, like like really cool stuff and like yeah, the like gladiuses, I, I, like the for handmade example, the, broadswords and yeah. gladius. Yeah. And, what was your example, Zach? No, like uh, the the very tiny knife which people really like that on Facebook. If you look on the if you are watching oh the, the little video dagger, version, yeah, the little the tiny little the dagger, tiny that says dagger. on it. Uh, that was five hundred dollars, I think. I didn't Hold see me that. Closer, tiny if you look at the screen, you should be able to see it. Uh, or can, can you, you put a picture of it on the show? Uh, There's I, one on our fascist book page. Talking. I'm not on there. Up, 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 up. Up, but up, but up, but up, but up. Party foul. Are you going to echo it? Oh, there we go. Oh, that one. Hold yeah, me that closer, one. tiny yeah, tiger. That was super expensive. And, and the big version of it was $1,000. And I went in there with the... Uh, the thought that yeah, maybe I'll get like yeah. a, like, because I've, I've, for whatever reason, I wanted a meat cleaver, right? That's something I've wanted. But you can't find him anymore. You wanted a meat cleaver? Yes, I wanted a meat cleaver. Like beaver? Hotty, 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 Or hotty, Wally? Hotty. Both of them. And I was like, maybe I'll get like a fancy nice one here. The cheapest one I saw was 150 bucks. Yeah. So I was like, but, yeah. maybe not. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah, they're, they're custom stuff. Yeah, I know, but still. Um, How, I didn't so, know yeah. you wanted a meat cleaver. Yeah. I've been looking around, around for one. Okay. The, the only place I've been able to find one, like at a store around here, is IKEA, and they've been sold out for the last six months. Which Uh-oh. makes me think they're just like not stocking them anymore. But they still love to display, so I'm mad about that. Anyway, don't buy uh, one. there was what? Don't buy a meat cleaver. Okay. Uh, the there was a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of really cool people. Like like you said, we talked to a lot of fun people there. Um, it, it was just it was like being a kid in a candy shop, except you have no money. And I was like I was like Charlie <laughs> in the candy shop. I was looking. You around, bought like, something. I did buy one something. I yeah. bought myself a pair of what? What are they called? Like That's white a, you viper, bought a paperweight, orange viper, something viper. I bought a paperweight that I can put my fingers in, in the shape of hey. some knuckles. I bought That's a pair. Right. Of, I That's right. That's what it is. Yeah. And they are blue and shiny, and I like them. There you go. But yeah, it was a, it was a good a, time. I had a lot of. It's not really a pair; it's stuff. just one. But uh, well, I mean, it's it's, it's actually five a pair of pants. Or yeah, four. you're you put a pair on of pants. eight pants, or do you put on a pair? A of set? Pants? I don't know exactly. Uh, well, yeah, that's, that's it. That's the yeah. oh, and we did see uh, some some students of the gun. We we saw we ran into some students of the gun, which was nice. Uh, so we saw people that uh, we saw a few of our old friends and then we met a lot of uh, potentially new friends so there you go there you go 